extreme pleasure and privilege to have you join us this morning in the celebrating our graduates. Please remain seated as we invite our graduates to process into the auditorium. this time, graduates, please be seated. At this time, I'd like to invite the class rep representatives forward to light the nursing lamps. During the Crimean War, Florence Nightingale would carry a lamp while making her rounds, caring for the soldiers in the field hospitals. This earned her the affectionate title of the lady with the lamp. The lighting of these lamps symbolizes knowledge that removes ignorance light that each nurse becomes to their patients and is a symbol of hope and comfort to those suffering in need. Thank you. I am pleased to introduce to you today, Dr. Sherry Utash, president of WSU Tech. Good morning and welcome to LPN Penning today. First of all, um, all of you graduates, I'm gonna to speak to you and then I'm gonna to speak to everybody else in the audience. But the first thing I wanna do is I wanna congratulate each and every one of you on an, a tremendous accomplishment. Um, this does not come easy, does it? It was tough, wasn't it? It was. Are you excited to be here? Did you work really hard to be here today? Yeah, you did, I know you did. And we're super proud of you. Um, I always say it's super important to me that you get excellent, excellent instruction and training because someday the chances are 
one of you or more than one of you may take care of me or one of my loved ones. So it's extremely important that you work so hard to meet this milestone. Super excited for you. Right now, I want you to stand up. And now I want to talk to everybody that's in here today because no one does great things without a support system. So what I want you to do is I want you to turn around and face your family, your spouse, your partner, your children, your friends, and I want you to thank them very much for all that they've done for you. You can be seated. So thanks to all of you that have provided the support, and that supports in a million ways. Could be a, uh, it could be carpooling on their behalf, fixing meals, taking kids places, uh, dealing with the fact that, that there's dirty dishes and laundry to do, and they've got homework up to their eyeballs. All those kind of things that really help, and just your love and support, because no one does great things like these graduates today without a strong support system behind them. So we thank you for all the sacrifices you've made on their behalf. On, for you that are getting ready to go and finish this program and take your NCLEX and then go on to whatever that next journey may be, maybe the world of work, it may be our new ADN program, it may be going on and getting, um, you know, and, and it continuing your education. For all of you, you know, I want to say that I just would ask you this question. Was all of it worth it? Yep. What about this side? I hear this side. What about you over here? Okay. How about all of you together? Was it worth it? Okay. Your persistence, your grit, and, you know, your, your I'm going to get it done attitude has paid off, and that's why you're here today. Again, we can't do all these things by ourselves. So I want to recognize the faculty. So would all of the, the nursing faculty that's in the audience please rise and be recognized. Can you thank them for all that they did to get you to here? That includes Sydney, that includes everybody involved. Anybody that's been a support for these students. Because we couldn't do it without you, so thank you. And we also couldn't do it without our administration, so I want to recognize on the platform Sarah Leftwick, who's the Vice President of Health Sciences, and Lynn Loveland, our Dean of Health Sciences. Thank you both. And Denise Clausen, who you've met, but is on the stage that's our Director of Nursing. So on behalf of the Board of Directors, all the administration, the faculty, the staff of WSU Tech, and myself. I am so proud of you. We are so proud, and we're so thankful that you chose WSU Tech as part of your educational journey. We celebrate you today. We look forward to pinning you and putting you on the path to your career, and congratulations. Please join me in welcoming to the podium the class speakers, Shelley Armstrong, Patience Smith, and Ashley Toll. Hi, everybody. Um, I don't have a speech prepared, so I'm just going to speak from the heart. This moment, I'd like to thank God for having me right here, for seeing me through this. It was a struggle. It was a challenge, but it, it grew me. I evolved so much this year. Um, I wouldn't take anything back. I enjoyed it. I want to thank WSU Tech. I want to thank Sydney for sending me that email. 
last summer saying that they opened the T's test again <laughs> and given me a chance to take it again and get here. I want to thank Sarah for Dose Cal, Sheila for bringing out that nurse in me in clinicals, Joy for med surge. I mean, all of you guys, Terry, Kay, Colsom, Linda, thank you. And then to my classmates, I love you guys infinity. I will not forget this experience that we shared. My cohorts, my little two babies right there, Tiana and Kate, I love you. You girls rock. Mariah, we've been there from the beginning. Day one, Alexis, we did this before pre-Rex. I like to thank my family that's here for the love and support. I know they probably got tired of me sitting in front of that computer, eating Zoom Zooms and Wham Whams for the last two years, but <laughs> it was a it was for a purpose, but I am so grateful to be standing right here. Um, you just don't know. I thought I was going to get emotional and cry. Three musketeers right there. I knew you guys were going to be here. Um, we did it, you guys. And everyone in here are, is going to go on to be some great nurses because we did this together. I seen everybody's pain. I seen everybody's laughter. And this is just the foundation, we got a good foundation here at WSU Tech. I loved it. Like I said, I wouldn't trade this experience for the world. I wouldn't take it back. So we did it. And this is a class of 2023. Congratulations, you guys. And let's go out here and kill it. Let's slay it. Good morning. What a wonderful day it is to celebrate this momentous occasion. I am honored and humbled to speak on behalf of my daytime cohort. We would first like to thank you all for coming today to share in this celebration. Nursing school is not for the faint of hearts. In fact, it requires dedication, determination, and sacrifices. Among the sacrifices were missed opportunities to spend time with friends and family so that we could spend time studying and preparing for the NCLEX. On our first day of class, the very first assignment was to um, figure out what our whys were for coming to nursing school. Ms. Terry was my clinical instructor and we had to write our whys on post-it notes, these little guys here. And um, they were gonna be posted on the bulletin board as friendly reminders as to why we were here. Today, I would like to read to you the many whys. Um, Ever since I was a little girl, I've always liked trying to help fix people that's got hurt. I always told people I was going to be a nurse when I grew up. Despite many setbacks or roadblocks, I always found myself back at pursuing my career as a nurse. This is my passion, Chelsea. My three sons, Alexis. To accomplish something I used to label as impossible for me to accomplish, family, Abby Windsor. Kids, Sarah Frakes. Wife and kids, Nelson. And he has a money sign too, by the way. <laughs> For my children and grandchildren, Leslie. To help others, Tina. A new profession, Tina. Mimi and financial stability. Rhea. 
My mom, or my mom and grandmother and financial aspect, but two, my mom is a nurse, always was very interested in being one, and my kids and my grandkids, patient. To make a better future for myself, Gloria. Financial stability, Mariah. To be able to provide for my kids and nursing's my dream, Tiana. To be an advocate, Catherine Schultz. My Bobby Sue, April. <laughs> and of course, um, Mine is for family here and those who have passed. Thank you. So I would like to brag about my classmates a little bit. Um, these amazing individuals, and I have a group text. And one of us is having a bad day. There was always someone just a text away that would have encouraging words or uplifting us in prayer. The days when classes were especially challenging or a homework assignment was more difficult. There would be a ridiculous amount of phone notifications pinging off of our phones. But they were usually messages filled with encouraging words or hilarious new nurse memes, related to nursing, of course. But there were lifelong um, bonds that were made and support systems established. It is amazing to have classmates that want to see each other succeed and support each other just as we did. Throughout this journey, we have had many challenges, but we have had phenomenal guidance. With that being said, we would like to thank WSU Tech instructors, Sarah. Katie. Terry, Miss Linda, Colson, Miss Joy. Laura, and Miss Sheila. Also, thank you to our clinical instructors. I know some days were harder than others, but we appreciate you just the same. Thank you for being wonderful mentors and sharing your wisdom with us. Kaylin. Where are you at? Thank you for keeping us in rhythm as we assist our patients to stay in alive. And we want to thank you for your patience, family and friends, your understanding as we navigate our way through the next few weeks to complete this journey and take our final tests. And finally, as was stated in 2 Corinthians 15, seven, be strong. Do not give up, for your work will be rewarded. Okay, good morning, everyone. Um, I would like to say thank you to each and every one of you for joining us here today. Thank you to my evening cohort for giving me the privilege to speak on our behalf. We all started this journey for different reasons. Some of us wanted to be nurses since we were a child. We would pretend um, to use our siblings, pets, stuffed animals, whatever we could as patients. Some of us have worked in healthcare for a long time and wanted to just further our career. And then some of us just thought, why not try nursing? 
Regardless of why we started, we all share, share something in common, and that is that our hearts are filled with compassion, love, and selflessness. And the goal in the end is to make a difference in the world. I remember walking into class on our first day, Foundations of Nursing. The room was filled with complete strangers, and I can safely say that we all had mutual feelings of excitement, but there were definitely undertones of anxiety of what was to come. <clears throat> our, our first exam came, and we got the results. We all failed. <laughs> um, many of us doubted ourselves at this point, but as the rest of the class went on, we learned a very, very important lesson from, that, from this class. In nursing school, when you're asked a multiple choice question, all four answers are correct, but you have to choose the one that is the most correct. Now, I could go on to tell you about each class we took, the challenges that we faced, and how we overcame that adversity, but we're going to try to keep this short. So I will highlight the key points of what we learned throughout nursing school. First, always remember your ABCs. For those of you who don't know, that would be airway, breathing, and circulation. Although I'm pretty sure at least one out of three was always compromised after each exam. Second, always eat plenty of green leafy vegetables, which we were not the best at since most of our meals consisted of too much caffeine and vending machine snacks. Lastly, and I can still hear Colson's voice in my head saying this at night, is it boggy or is it firm? Massage the fundus, <laughs> gently massage the fundus. <laughs> With all jokes aside, this group here showed up today, put in the work every day to learn how to care for another human life. And as the days came and went from one class to clinical, class and clinical to the next, we grew into the nurses that you see here today. To all of our instructors on behalf of our 2023 PN cohort, I'd like to say thank you for su the support and encouragement to just keep going when we felt like we were being defeated. Thank you for being our biggest cheerleaders when we finally connected the dots on challenging subjects, successfully accomplished a new skill, or completed a simulation without crying. But most importantly, thank you for building our nursing foundations and molding us into the nurses that we are to going to be, which are compassionate, loving, caring, and unafraid to advocate for our patients. To our parents, children, siblings, spouses, significant others, grandparents, extended family, friends, coworkers, and any other loved ones not mentioned, thank you for the unconditional love and support that you have shown us throughout this program. Thank you for understanding when we missed events, when we stayed up through all hours of the night studying to complete our assignments, and thank you for letting us listen to your heart and lungs a hundred times. Practicing our assessments and skills, and well, most of them, I think a lot of you drew the line of inserting the Foley catheter. Uh, most importantly, thank you for believing in us, standing behind us, and loving us through the most self selfish times of our lives. And finally, it's time for us to thank each other. For the past 18 months, we have spent hours and hours together. This is the most highly motivated, compassionate, hardworking, loving, caring, and group of people I've ever met. Inevitably, we went from being complete strangers to this crazy family. I'll never forget watching each other in Sims Lab, laughing at how ridiculous we responded to the scenario, or comforting each other while we waited for our exam scores to be posted, or, de or devouring all the delicious food we made to celebrate the end of a class. For the past 18 months, we've laughed together, cried together, studied together, and had copious amounts of mental breakdowns together. Above all else, we have supported and encouraged each other and you can only, in a way that you can only understand if you go through nursing school. I'm honored to have been part of this cohort and to have the opportunity to get, each and at, get to know each and every one of you. And guys, we finally made it. <laughs> Thank you. At this time, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a frog in my throat. At this time, I'd like to ask Amy Tanner to come forward. She is one of our faculty members for the Associate Degree Nursing Program, and she'll present the history of the nursing pin. Beautiful words, thank you. The pr practical nursing pin given to every graduate of a WSU College of Applied Sciences in Technology Practical Nurse Program 
cannot be considered mere jewelry or a reminder of graduation like a tassel or a marker board. Rather, the nursing pin has been a history that connects each new WSU Tech practical nurse to every practical nurse who has come before. Every nurse in the United States and every nurse who has ever accepted the responsibility of the profession. The wearer of the nursing pin is a privilege earned by graduates of nursing programs across the country. It is a symbol of the practice of nursing and the educational preparation of the wearer. Most schools have a pinning ceremony to honor their graduates and in recognizing the significance, WSU Tech is of no exception. The tradition of the nursing pin and the ceremonial pinning at the completion of a nursing program originated in 1860s in the Nightingale School of Nursing at St. Thomas Hospital in London. Having been recently awarded the Red Cross of St. George for her selfless service to the injured and dying in the Crimean War, Florence chose to extend this honor to outstanding graduate nurses by presenting each of them with a medal for excellence. Wolverton Royal Hospital in England initiated the tradition of presenting all nursing graduates with a badge. In the United States, the first pin was presented to the graduating class of 1880 at the Bellevue Hospital of New York City. By 1916, the practice of pinning new nurses was common across all of North America. While nurses do not always wear caps and white uniforms, they proudly wear a pin. It is a treasured symbol of their association and everlasting bond with their nursing school, evidence of completing a rigorous, mentally and physically demanding nursing program, and the recognition of the history and heritage of nursing. Each pin is distinctive, representing only one program, and it identifies to others the program from which the nurse graduated. The WSU Tech Practical Nursing Pen has two stalks of wheat, representing the growth of students into nurses, the nightingale lamp symbolizing the light of the knowledge and the WSU Tech logo. It is our extreme pleasure <clears throat> to continue the tradition of presenting a pen to each one of our graduates. The graduates in turn will dedicate a rose in honor of the people who have sacrificed and have supported them throughout the practical nurse program. This ceremony is a joyous occasion and it honors the admission of another generation of students into the profession of nursing, symbolizing that transition from being a student to becoming our colleague. <clears throat> Please be courteous as we read it aloud and honor each graduate. After the graduates have re recited the practical nurses pledge, we can all join in celebrating this accomplishment with our graduates. At this time, will the graduates please rise and begin the procession to be pinned. Alexis Oliver. I dedicate my rose to my sons and fiance who have been seeing me study my brains away and continue to support me and to my parents for the constant push to be the best at all that I do. Anne Marie Canole. I dedicate this to my husband, Connor, Thank you for being the medicine to my challenges in life, pushing my comfort zones and always believing in me. Thank you to my daughters, Taylor and Haley, for being there to listen, encourage me, and Ava for all of the cups of coffee after late nights of studying. Leslie McDaniel. I dedicate my rose to my family. Your love and support means the world to me. April Parks, to my support system, 
my best friends, and the entire reason I am on this journey. My family, you are my everything. Thank you for being with me during this journey, including my temporary bouts of craziness. You all deserve this more than I do. I love you. Here on Ayula, I dedicate my rose to my family, my cohort, and all of my instructors. Your support and optimism was immensely appreciated. Shelly Armstrong. I would like to dedicate my accomplishment to my daddy and my family. Thank you for your love, patience, and understanding so that I can chase after my dreams. Danielle Mendoza. Thank you to everyone that has helped me throughout this journey. To my children, thank you for your patience. And most of all, thank you to my husband. I couldn't have done this without you and your support. Taylor Mien. I would like to thank my family and friends for their support over this year. Thank you for pushing me to strive for the best through this stressful time. I could not have done this without you. Mary Caitlin Winshaw, to my family, thank you. Arlene Panko, to my son Silas and Dash, and my mother-in-law Carrie for always giving me great motivation and a positive outlook on life. Chelsea Turner, I dedicate, I dedicate my rose to my husband and my family. Your love and support throughout this journey will forever be appreciated and remembered. Veronica Smith, to my daughter, I was able to exhibit resilience and encouragement to never give up. To my son, my number one fan and motivator, to my mother and grandmother for their prayers and support. Mostly, import, most importantly, I would like to give glory to the Lord. Without Jesus, I am nothing. Anna Alicia Beldala Boyd. I dedicate this to my husband for his overwhelming support and to my beautiful children. Know that anything is possible. Father God, I appreciate you for holding me during the toughest times. Thank you. Imani Newman. I dedicate this rose to my son, my family and friends, who helped me and supported me along the way. I would not be here if it was not for you all. Thank you. Victoria Blaze Riddick. To my family and friends, and especially my parents, I wouldn't be here without you. I love you all. Kelsey Bratton. I dedicate, I dedicate this accomplishment to my fiance and kids. Thank you for all the love and support you've provided me. Fatu Kamara. To my family and especially to the lovely and supportive man in my life. Gloria Montalado. Deraja Miller. 
I dedicate this accomplishment to my daughter, Mimi. Without you, I would not be here. Love you to infinity and beyond. Karen James. I dedicate my rose to my family. Thank you for the love, care, and support you have given me. Amy Jansen. I am thankful for the overwhelming support for my husband and my family who encouraged me to, do, to continue when school was difficult. I 100% would not be here without all of you, and I love you all so much. Darian Michelle Ramirez. I dedicate this to my family, especially my children, and my husband for putting up with me through this. Leah Bells. I dedicate this to my husband, Charles, and daughter, Lainey, to my family and friends. I thank you for all the endless support and encouragement and for pushing me when I wanted to quit. I wouldn't have made it here without you all. Anita Salisbury. I dedicate this accomplished to my family, to my dearest husband and wonderful children. Christina Beal. I dedicate this to my family, Andrew, Erica, Kylie, and Raye. Thank you for your love and support throughout these past few months. Karen Gerardo. This, this rose is dedicated to my children, spouse, mother, brothers, and younger self. <clears throat> it was difficult, but we could get through it together. <clears throat> and I appreciate all of your support and love and patience. I love you all. Patience Smith. <laughs> to my mother, Shirley Brown, a retired RN who pushed me to achieve this. I am so glad I did. To my children and grandchildren, I love you. Abby Windsor. <laughs> to my kids, I know it has been rough, but we made it. Elizabeth Hallisey. I thank my family and friends for their support. This would not have been possible without you. Thank you to my husband, Matthew, and my children, Emery and Jackson, for loving me unconditionally through all the times I had to say, sorry, I can't, I have homework. I love you. Shwanitha Ross. I would like to dedicate my rose to my children, my wonderful family, and my loving mom. Thank you for all that you have done, your motivation, and your love. Makia Buckingham. I dedicate this rose to my children for being mommy's motivation, to my family for their endless support throughout this journey, and to Aaron, who is gone, but watching over me on this day. I love you all. Ramika Stevenson. I want to thank, I want to thank my parents, husbands, kids, and friends for all the moral support and motivation to get through. Most of all, I like to honor my grandmother, Shirley Mae Berry, who was a healthcare worker that became my guardian angel a few weeks ago. Thank you for raising me to be very strong throughout everything in life. Katherine Shelton. I dedicate this to the real ones. Tiana Plankton. 
I thank my children and my husband for giving me the motivation to never give up on this journey. Above all, I thank God for blessing me with this opportunity and helping me to complete this program. Tina Johnson. I would like to thank my family for their patience and my studying and brain fog. I love you. Sarah Frakes. I dedicate my rose to my kids for being my motivation and my mom for helping me with crazy little motivators. Nelson Jonathan Armstrong II. I dedicate this rose to my parents, wife, and 11 children. Your love and support has been greatly appreciated. I thank God for blessing me with this opportunity to serve him. Mary Worth. I dedicate my rose to my family. Their understanding and support during this journey meant more to me than they could ever imagine. Mariah Atchison. I dedicate this rose to my family, especially my mom. Thank you for always pushing me to believe and achieve my dreams. You are ready to keep pushing me through RN school Ashley Toll. I, I dedicate my rose to my friends and family. Thank you for your outpour of love and support. Amber Reinhart. To my grandma, Claudia Taha. She will never, she will forever be my inspiration and role model as a nurse and as a woman. To my husband and kids for making it through this last year and half of crazy schedules, we made it. Thank you to my tiny village for the constant support. Lacey Rannells. I dedicate this to my husband, Josh, son, Bennett, daughter, Avery, and all the girls in my cohort. Allison Quinzer. I dedicate this to my cats, kids, husband, and family. Dariana Nichols. I dedicate my rose to my mother, my uncle, uh, Kelvin and Darian White <clears throat> all have had a role in getting me here today. I know that they're proud angels on this day. Blaze Miracle Clark. <clears throat> I dedicate my rose to my children, Eris. Braxton and the support system that have helped me along my journey. Great. The class representatives will now come forward and lead the class in the practical nurses pledge. Graduates, please rise.
Practical Nurses Pledge. Please raise your right hand. Yes. I solemnly, I solemnly pledge to, to adhere to the Code, code of Ethics of the nursing, nursing Profession, to cooperate faithfully with the other members of the nursing team, and to carry out faithfully and to the best of my abilities the instructions of the physician or the nurse who may be assigned to supervise my work. I will not do anything evil or malicious, and I will not knowingly give any harmful drug or assist in malpractice. I will not reveal any confidential information that may come to my knowledge in the course of my work, and I pledge myself to do all in my power to raise the standard in the, the prestige of practical, practical nursing. May, May my life be devoted to service and to the high ideals of the nursing profession. We're nurses now. You did it. Woo! Congratulations. At this time, we ask you to please stand and we'll let the graduates process out. Yep. <laughs>